I want to welcome each and every one of you to Encore Electric Delivery's Arcing Demo. Your instructors today are Mr. Josh and I'm Mr. Jim. The arc that you're about to see is sustained by 25,000 watts and up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you see this arc, imagine how hot this thing can get very fast. Power on. Power off. All right, boys and girls. You just saw an electrical arc that was a 5,000 volts. Imagine being out there where all our lines are in our neighborhoods. A 25,000 volt phase to phase arc up, is up to 130 million watts. That's pretty big. So next I'd like to show you Mr. Josh is going to take, he's going to get real close to the probe, and then he's going to touch it. And it's when, it's when he pulls his probe off the, pro, the arc, when he pulls his stick off the arc, is when it's going to make the arc. Power on. Power off. Oh. If a crane gets close to the electrical wires, and touches it, the man that's inside the crane can be safe if he stays in. If his life is not in danger, he can, he can be safe. If his crane gets on fire, he's got to get out of there. Now let me tell you, tell you how he can get out. He jumps out with both feet. He don't step out, he jumps out with both feet and, and, then, and then he shuffles his feet away. And when he, gets, when he gets to safety, he can get out of the way. How many boys and girls do you have trees in your yard? Let's look at a tree that Mr. Josh has and let's see if this tree is conductive. Power on. Power off. Wow, boys and girls, as you can see, a tree is really dangerous in the lines. So if you see your dad or mom trimming trees and you see some lines and they, they maybe didn't see them, tell them, help them out and say, hey, mom and dad, there's some electric lines there. We better be careful and call, call the electric man. All right, we have another tree, an old dead tree that's been burned many times. It's got a it's, it's got a carbon path built onto it. Let's see how fast it, it, it arcs up. Power off. What about tree houses? When we build a tree house in a tree, we really got to pay attention, don't we? This could be a hazard, right? Electric lines. Because when we have tree houses, we like to carry, we like to carry things up and play with them, right? So. When, when mom and dad builds a tree house, make sure you pick a good tree that's clear of the electrical lines. Many times workers are up on the buildings and they're working and, and they forget to pay attention and they have long brooms and long tools that they work with and it would be a hazard if the line is close to the building. How about antennas? Antennas and satellite dishes uh, and, and CB ham antennas. They're very dangerous. And, and you could get yourself in a bad position, in an unsafe position by putting one up on a house close to where the lines are. Who likes to fly a kite? I'm going to show you two, two different kite strings. The first kite string we're going to show you is a dry, clean, cotton string that was brought right with the kites. Let's look at Mr. Josh's clean cotton kite string. Power on. Power on. You see it's, it's, it's pretty safe because it's dry and clean, right? Let me show you another piece of string that was purchased close to the kites. Now, boys and girls, pay close attention to this because mom and dad isn't here to see this. So if y'all, if you go to purchase a kite, 
tell, make sure that you get the right string. This is not a real good string here. Power on. Power off. How about ladders? Let's talk about ladders for a moment. Who has a ladder? Everybody. That's the best tool in the shed. You got a wooden ladder? That's good. That's cool. Okay, boys and girls, this is an aluminum ladder right here. And with an aluminum ladder, you really got to be careful because you could, you could put yourself in a hazardous position if you get close to electric lines. So let's see how conductive an aluminum ladder is, okay? Power on. Power on. 